Hello and welcome to Elevate Your Mind with Ale. I am Alejandra, your host, and in this video, you will learn what the new moon in Virgo energy will bring to you personally based on your racing sign. The new moon in Virgo is a time that happens between late August and late September. The new moon in Virgo is a powerful time to harness the energy of this earthy sign. Virgo. It's all about practicality, organization, and attention to detail. When the new moon is in Virgo, it is a great time to focus on setting intentions that align with these qualities. This is a time to get organized and take care of practical matters. And you may find yourself drawn to decluttering your home, your office, or creating a new schedule or routine that allows you to be more productive and efficient. And you can also use this energy to focus your health and well-being, whether that means starting a new exercise routine or even making a dietary change into your routine. Virgo is also associated with service and helping others. So this is a great time to think about ways you can get back to your community and support those in need, whether it's volunteering your time or donating to a charitable cause, this is a time to focus on how you can make a positive impact in the world. Overall, the Newman in Virgo is a time to focus on practical matters, organization, and service. So use this energy to set intentions that align with these qualities and take some action to bring them into fruition. So I have five things for you that I suggest you try out this new moon in Virgo. And the first one is to take an inventory. Pay attention to the details. Do an inventory of your life. Work out what's working and what isn't. Virgo has a reputation for being picky. And, and that's okay sometimes. The image for the sign of Virgo recalls that people who once used their powers of discernment literally to sort the wheat from the shaft back in the days of, of people skilled agriculture. So you can use the energies of this month to think about where in your life you need to make changes. Pay particular attention to your daily routines. The number two is be of service if you are in the new age path you have heard teachers reminding us that the best work is where we are of service to others virgo is all about being of service so use this month to consider whether you're being of service to others think about what's going on at work especially how can you help other people service with a smile will attract karmic brownie points back into your life, easing a colleague's workload or offering to pick up someone else's kid after school. It's just really the little things that add up. Um, number three is be healthy. Virgo has a strong alternative health theme. The new moon in Virgo is a wonderful time to think about your diet and your daily habits. Much has been written about the importance of morning and evening routines. So how do yours look? Virgo is a fine habit former, so start some beneficial new routines this month. Be in the morning or evening yoga, daily meditation, nutrient packed breakfast smoothies, early nights, or whatever, and see how long you can keep them going. Number four would be avoid nitpicking. Are you being too critical? Ask yourself. Use the new moon in undeniably picky Virgo to access this. For example, love and criticism don't go together. So make sure you haven't allowed yourself to get into the habit of finding flaws in the people that you love. Don't do it to yourself either. Doing your best is one thing, but perfectionism is another thing. Don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too hard on others. Number five is get organized. Virgo is the part of us that's together. In other words, 
the part that's organized and punctual. Catch up with paying bills, filling paperwork, tidying up with the new moon is a Virgo thing to do. So now that we got the Virgo energy out of the way, let's go right into your specific rising sign and see how it's going to be dealing with your rising sign and what you should focus on and what can help you ease the way so you can have a better experience during this new moon in Virgo. If you know how to just jump right in, then go ahead and do that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to find out what your rising sign is by looking up birth chart and you will need your birth date, birth of place, your time that you were born, and where you were born. And there you can look at the racing sign or ascendant sign. And then you can come back and listen to what racing sign you are. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello there, Pisces Rising. This new moon in Virgo, you are to focus on your seventh house, which is known as the love zone. As a Pisces Rising, the seventh house plays an important role in your life as it represents your relationships, partnerships, and even collaborations. When the new moon is in Virgo, it brings a focus to your seventh house urging you to pay attention to your relationships and the way that you connect with others. During this time, it is important to reflect on the qualities that you want in a partner or collaborator and be mindful of any imbalances in your current relationships. Virgo's analytical energy encourages you to approach your relationships with a critical eye, but be very careful not to be too harsh on yourself or even on others. The new moon on Virgo also brings an opportunity for new beginnings in your relationships, whether it starts a new partnership or working to improve an existing one. Use this time to communicate openly and honestly with your loved ones and to work towards finding a balance that works for everyone involved. Overall, the new moon in Virgo can be a powerful time for growth and transformation in your relationship as long as you approach it with an open-hearted mind so it's going to be all about love and marriage relationship business partners VAPs friends and even foes so you can expect issues related to love and relationships to come up and hopefully you will sort it out now for this new moon I want you to wish for the best relationships that you can have with all of the people that you know. I need you to visualize seeing yourself face to face and palm to palm with someone that you love or even someone that you might be in conflict with. That way you can more easily approach the situation with ease and know that you can't go through it. Now, the idea that you should keep in mind is, I am you and you are me. We're all one. Even through the seventh house, it's all about our most important relationships. So use this month to contemplate the idea that underneath all the egos and differences, we are all one. We are all connected to all life everywhere. It is a month to clean up our relationships. Your beloved, whether that is your past, your present, or your potential, is in, in focus at this time of the new moon. Now is the time to think about all of your relationships. And if you're attached, if you're with someone, what can you do to make your love brand new? Do you still need to let go of the past? How confident do you feel about your love skills? Now is the time to go on a blind date if you are not in love and not having any luck with meeting someone new. If you can't let go of the past, call up your ex if it feels right for a chat and for closure. See if you can work with your lover, past or present. 
As the seventh house is all about balance, cooperation, and doing what is right. Now, if you meditate, which I truly recommend, I have a little sentence that you can say before or even after your regular meditation, and that is, I'll do what I know I need to do to feel more confident about love. Now, this new moon's ritual, I suggest that you send a love letter, a love email, a love text to someone that you love so you can spread that love and so you can be in the love spirit. Since you are a Pisces rising, paying attention to your seventh house during the new moon in Virgo, there are several rituals that you can do to help you tap into the energy of this powerful time. This is a great time to focus on relationships, both romantic and otherwise, and to set intentions for the coming lunar cycle. One powerful ritual is to create a vision board or a collage that represents your ideal relationships. You can include images, words, and symbols that invoke the feelings and qualities that you want to attract into your life. You can also write affirmations or intentions to accompany your vision board, such as, I am attracting love and supportive relationships into my life. Another ritual is to practice gratitude for the relationships you already have in your life. Take some time to write down a list of all the people who support and love you and express your gratitude for their presence in your life. You can also send them a message or give them a call to let them know how much you appreciate them. And finally, you can use this time to set boundaries and release any relationships that no longer serve your highest good. This can be a difficult process, but it's important to remember that you deserve relationships that are loving, supportive, and respectful. Take some time to reflect on any relationships that may be draining your energy and consider how you can release them into a healthy and compassionate way. Remember, the new moon in Virgo is a powerful time to focus on relationships. So take advantage of this energy to set intentions and create positive changes into your life. Now, as a Pisces rising, The new moon in Virgo can be an excellent time to focus on your 7th house, right? Which governs relationships, partnerships, and collaborators. And I have for you a few things that you can consider doing during this time. And that is to reflect on your current partnerships. Take some time to reflect on your current relationships and partnerships. Ask yourself, are there any that need more attention or nurturing? Are there any that are no longer serving you? Use this time to evaluate and make any necessary adjustments. You can also set intentions for new partnerships. This is a great time to set intentions for new partnerships or collaborators. What kind of people do you want to attract in your life? What qualities are important to you in a partner? Write down your intentions to keep them in a place where you can see them regularly. You can also focus on self-improvement. Virgo is all about self-improvement and self-care. So you can use this time to focus on your own personal growth and development. What areas of your life do you want to improve? What habits or behaviors are holding you back from being the best version of yourself? You can also practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for manifesting abundance and positive energy. Take some time each day to reflect on the things that you are grateful for in your relationships and partnerships. This can help you attract more positively and abundance in your life. Remember that the new moon in Virgo is a time for reflection, intention setting, and self-improvement. You can use this time to focus on your relationships and your partnerships and make any necessary adjustments to attract more positivity and abundance into your life. So, you can go through your old love letters and get rid of at least some, especially if you are no longer with that person and if you are with someone else or if you're trying to move on from them. 
And if you're single and you're feeling brave, try online dating. Ask your mom, your dad, or whoever you think is an ideal a romantic connection or just a good relationship to give you ideas on how to make love work or how to make a connection work. And if you are already with your partner, if you are already married, recommit to them. And if you have hurt a past lover, admit you were wrong and apologize to them. And if you aren't with someone, make a list of the qualities that you look for in a, par- in a partner so you know that what you are looking for. And if you are already good in the love department, in the friendship partner, in the relationship part department, try to help someone out that needs your help. Try to play matchmaker for a friend or help someone out that needs relationship advice relationships aren't just romantic they can be business or friends friendships now i have for you three affirmations that you can say on the nights of the new moon in virgo and for the following four weeks after that and that is i love you and i love me i am easy to get along with all my relationships are harmonious And I am free of the past. My relationships are now resolving themselves. Now, if you are into essential oils, then I recommend jasmine for opening up the heart chakra. It is therefore a wonderful oil in which to anoint yourself with. You can dab a few drops around the area of your heart chakra in the middle of the chest between your breast and pour it into your bath or put it in your burner especially before meditating the mantra that i suggest for you this month is the mantra yum you can chant it out loud silently every day while you are in the shower before or after you meditate or at any time that feels right to you and this is going to help you work and boost the chakra of the month And of course, the chakra that you need to focus on this month is your heart chakra. The seventh house is all about relating to other people. That usually means to lovers or exes, but it can also mean to people that we regard more as foes and friends. Whatever the case is, focus on your heart chakra during meditation and see it as a gorgeous glowing emerald green spinning disc. Open your heart chakra and open your heart to love. Since you are a Pisces rising, focusing on your 7th house, connecting with your heart chakra during the new moon in Virgo can be a powerful way to tap into the energy of this event. The 7th house is associated with partnership and relationships, making it an ideal time to focus on opening your heart centers and straightening your connections to others. To begin, find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit and meditate. Take a few deep breaths and allow yourself to relax and let go of any stress or tension that you may be holding onto. Visualize a bright green light filling your heart center, radiating outwards and enveloping your entire body in a warm, loving energy. And as you focus on your heart chakra, reflect on your relationships and partnerships. Consider any area where you may be holding onto old wounds or limiting beliefs that are preventing you from fully connecting with others. Allow yourself to feel any emotions that come up without judgment or resentment. During the new moon in Virgo, you may also want to consider setting intentions for your relationships moving forward. Ask yourself what you want to create in your partnership and how you can bring more love and compassion into your interactions with others. Remember to be kind and gentle with yourself during this process. Connecting with the heart chakra can be a powerful and transformative experience, but it takes time and practice to fully open yourself up to the energy of love and even compassion. Now, the last thing that I have for you is a universal law to focus on and is the best 
of them known you've probably heard of it and that is the law of attraction it reminds us of course that like attracts like it shows us that we create the events and relationships that come into our lives even thoughts feelings words and actions set the law of attraction in motion producing energies that attract like energies positive or even negative now that is all that I have for you, Pisces Rising. I hope you found this video of the new moon in Virgo informative. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next moon video. Hello there, Aquarius Rising. This new moon in Virgo, you are to focus on your 8th house, also known as the sex and shared financial zone. As an Aquarius Rising, on the new moon in Virgo, the position of the 8th house in your birth chart can reveal important insights into your deepest fears, desires, and hidden aspects of your personality. The 8th house is associated with transformation, regeneration, and the mysteries of life and death. With Virgo in the 8th house, you may have a tendency to analyze and scrutinize your own psychological process seeking to understand yourself on a deeper level. You may also be drawn to healing modalities such as holistic medicine or psychotherapy. The new moon in Virgo adds an extra layer of energy to this placement, highlighting the need for introspection and self-improvement. This is a time to focus on your inner world, to identify any areas of your life that require healing and to set intentions for transformation. The new moon is a powerful time for manifestation. So use this opportunity to set goals related to personal growth and self-discovery. Overall, with Aquarius rising on the new moon in Virgo, you have a unique perspective on the deepest aspects of your life. Embrace your analytical nature and use it to take your advantage and to delve into the mysteries of your own psyche. Trust in the transformative power of the 8th house and the new moon to guide you on your journey of self-discovery. So this can also be about that and it can also be about other people's money and how it combines with yours. You can expect the chance to ingest newness into your finances or into your sex life for this new moon i want you to wish for more money better sex and to overcome whatever fears ail you i want you to visualize what you can do if you had more money visualize that and i will let you take care of the sex based visualization the idea that you should keep in mind is that now is the time to attend your cash setup and see how good you feel about it. Are you confident that you're on the track? Can you meet the bills you know you have ahead of you? And if not, is there something you can do now about that? This is also a great time to seek financial advice or to do a weekend business seminar to help you better understand the financial basics, the part of your chart being triggered also deals with deep, dark, and even kinky sex. If you have intimacy issues that you know that you need to work on, tackle them at this time. If you meditate, which I truly hope that you do because it's very helpful, then I have a little sentence that you can say before or even after your regular meditation routine. And that is, I tackle my cash problems head on. Now, for this new moon's ritual, I suggest you go out to town wearing the sexiest outfit that you have in your wardrobe. As an Aquarius rising, focusing on your 8th house during the new moon in Virgo can be a potent time to set intentions around shared resources, transformation, and personal power. So, here's another simple ritual you can do during this time, and that is... To find a quiet and comfortable space where you can be undisturbed for at least 15 minutes. Light a candle or incense if it helps you create a sacred atmosphere. Take a few deep breaths. 
to center yourself and bring your attention to the present moment. Write down your any fears, limiting beliefs, or negative patterns that are holding you back from fully embracing your personal power and financial abundance. And be honest with yourself and don't hold back. Once you have identified these patterns, burn the piece of paper as a symbol of releasing these limiting beliefs from your life or these limitations. Next, write down your intentions from the new moon cycle in your 8th house. Focus on what you want to do to attract into your life in regards to shared resources, financial abundance, and personal transformation. And be specific and use positive language. Place this paper in a prominent place where you will see it often throughout the month. Now close your eyes and visualize yourself already living the reality of your intentions. Feel the emotions of joy, gratitude, and fulfillment that come with achieving your goals. And when you feel ready, take a few deep breaths and blow out the candles or incense to signify the end of your ritual. Remember to trust in the power of the new moon and the universe to bring your intentions to fruition. Stay open and receptive to any opportunities that come your way and take action towards your goals when inspired. Good luck on your new moon journey. Now, I have for you a couple of things that I suggest you try out if you are an Aquarius rising wanting to take advantage of this new moon in Virgo. There are several things that you can do. The 8th house is associated with transformation, intimacy, shared resources, and deep connections with others. So, here are some tips to help you make the most of the powerful new moon. The first thing you can do is connect with your inner self. Use the new moon to explore your deepest desires, fears, and motivations. Spend some time in meditation, journaling, or simply reflecting on your life. This can help you gain clarity on what you truly want and what steps you need to take to get there. Then, you can let go of old patterns. The new moon in Virgo is a great time to release old patterns and habits that no longer are serving you. And this can include everything from negative self-talk to unhealthy relationships. And be honest with yourself about what needs to go and take action to let go. Focus on your finances. The 8th house is associated with shared resources, so this is a good time to focus on your finances. Take a look at your budget and make any necessary adjustments and consider investing in yourself or starting a new side hustle to increase your income. Connect with others. The 8th house is also associated with deep connections with others. So, use this new moon to straighten your relationships. Reach out to friends or family members that you haven't spoke to in a while. Consider joining a group or organization that aligns with your values. And by following these tips, you can make the most of the new moon in Virgo and tap into the transformative energy of the 8th house. Remember to stay open to new experiences and trust the process. You can also pay off a loan if you have one or take one out if you need one. Open up a savings account and make your first deposit. You can cancel a credit card that you know that you can't afford and you shouldn't be using. Ask for a pay raise if you know that you deserve it and that you will get it. Refinance your mortgage if you have one. And since we are in the 8th house, talk dirty to your partner and try a sexual position for the first time. Now I have for you three affirmations that you can say on the new moon in Virgo and for the following four weeks after that. And that is, I am taken care of materially. All of my financial needs are being met. My sex life is so wonderfully healthy. An essential oil that I recommend you try out is Meyer. It can help you to open, become open to receiving gifts. As you use it, confirm that you are ready, that you are ready to receive 
from the universe, from God, from whoever you believe in. And the mantra that I have for you to, for this month is the mantra VAM. You can chant it out loud or silently every day while you're in the shower before or after you meditate or whenever it feels right to you. And this is going to help you boost the chakra that you need to work on, which is your sacral chakra. It's all about creativity, food, and sex. And to get this chakra into good shape during this cycle, imagine a spinning orange disc about halfway up the lower half of your abdomen, between your navel and the top of your legs. Connecting with the sacral chakra during the new moon in Virgo can be a powerful way to tap into your creativity and sensuality. And as the Aquarius is rising with a focus on your 8th house, you may find that this is an especially potent time for exploring your emotions and desires. And to begin, find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit or lie down. Take a few deep breaths. Allow yourself to relax and let go of any tension in your body. Visualize a warm glowing light at the base of your spine and imagine it glowing brighter and more vibrant with each breath. And as you focus on your sacral chakra, allow yourself to feel any emotions or sensations that come up. You may notice feelings of pleasure, desire, or even discomfort or tension. And whatever arises, simply observe it without judgment or resistance. Allow yourself to fully experience your emotions knowing that this is an important part of the healing process. You may also wish to incorporate movement or meditation into your practice. Dancing, yoga, or other forms of movement can help to awaken the act and activate the sacral chakra, while meditation can help to calm and focus the mind. Remember that connecting with your sacral chakra is a deeply personal and individual process. Trust your intuition and allow yourself to express what feels right for you. With time and practice, you may find that your connection to this energy center becomes stronger and more vibrant, allowing you to fully embrace your creativity and sensuality. Now, the last thing that I have for you, Aquarius Rising, is something to think about and is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy which reminds us that we all have the power to change the conditions of our lives we just need to push through our fear and limiting thoughts in particular the negative thoughts directed at ourselves or others raising our vibration through yoga chanting and meditating higher vibration transforms lower ones pure sexual energy is a great transmitter so just food for thought there now that is all that i have for you aquarius rising if you found this information useful please let me know down below and i will see you on the next moon video till next time hello there capricorn rising this new moon in virgo you are to focus on your ninth house also known as the big picture zone as a capricorn rising the ninth house is not only the house of higher education and philosophy but also represents travel spiritual pursuits and the search for meaning with the new moon in virgo you may feel a desire to focus on practical matters related to these areas of your life and during this time, you may find yourself drawn towards learning new skills or taking courses that will help you improve your career prospects. And this can also be a good time to consider pursuing an advanced degree or certification in your field of interest. Additionally, the new moon in Virgo may inspire you to explore your spiritual side and delve deeper into your beliefs. This could include attending meditation or yoga classes or, or even embarking on a pilgrimage to a sacred site. Finally, the ninth house is also associated with travel and adventure. This new moon could be a great time to plan a trip or explore a new destination. 
Whether you're traveling for work or pleasure, be sure to take the time to enjoy the journey and explore new cultures and even experiences. So this new moon is basically going to be all about adventure, travel, and personal development. And you can expect new and potential exciting developments related to travel, study, the internet, publishing, and even the great cosmic quest. Now for this new moon, I want you to wish for to see the bigger picture of your life and thus to invoke gratitude. I want you to visualize yourself wherever you would most like to be on holiday. Truly visualize as if you are there. Now the idea to keep in mind is that we are all divine beings. The ninth house is strongly associated with the spiritual quest and the ninth house planet Jupiter is too. And as you will later find out the chakra traditionally associated with the ninth house is also about the divine which connects us to the heavens the part of your chart being lit by the new moon is ruled by jupiter which is a planet of expansion so whether you're expanding your mind by studying or travel or by talking to well-traveled people or through doing a personal development course you have the chance now to broaden your horizons. This cycle is all about your faith and beliefs. If you know that you're being rigid, perhaps clinging on to what you were taught as a child rather than forming your own opinions, someone could come along now and either help you or force you to rethink your philosophies. This is also a great time to break out of routine and to give it a little more freedom. Now, if you meditate, which I truly recommend, I have a little sentence that you can say before or even after your regular meditation, and that is, life's an adventure, and I love it. So this month, I'll, and you can fill in the blank and say wherever you would like to go on an adventure to. Now, this new moon's ritual Decide on your next travel destination and put a picture of the place on your wall to remind yourself of the plans that you have for yourself and where you want to be either in the following year or just in the future. Since you are a Capricorn rising and you want to focus on your ninth house during the new moon in Virgo, there are a few rituals that may help you to harness the energy of the, uh, this astrological event. The ninth house is associated with a higher level, travel, spirituality, and philosophy, so you may want to focus on these areas during your ritual. One ritual you could try is to light a candle and meditate on your goals and aspirations related to the ninth house. You could also write down any insights or ideas that come to you during this meditation. Another option is to take a walk in nature and reflect on your connection to the world around you. Consider how you can expand your knowledge and understanding of the world and how you can use this knowledge to benefit yourself and others. You may also want to incorporate elements of Virgo into your ritual, such as organizing your space, cleaning and focusing on details. This can help you to ground yourself and prepare for the new beginnings that the new moon represents. Whatever you choose to do, remember to approach your ritual with intention an open heart and trust the universe that will guide you on your path you can plan a trip by using this moon to plan a trip or a vacation to a place you've always wanted to visit it could be a new country or a different city a nearby national park the important thing is to go somewhere that will allow you to experience new things and learn about different cultures you can also enroll in a course. This is a great time to enroll in a course or workshop that will help you expand your knowledge. It could be a language class, a cooking workshop, a seminar on a topic you're interested in. Learning something new will help you grow and evolve as a person. You can explore different belief systems. The ninth house is also associated with spirituality and philosophy. Use this new moon to explore different belief systems and find out one that resonates with you 
You could read one book on different religions, attend spiritual retreats, or simply spend time in nature reflecting on your own beliefs. You can write down on a journal. Writing is a great way to process your thoughts and your emotions. You can use the new moon to start a journal and reflect on your beliefs, your values, and your goals. Write down your thoughts and intentions so they can help you manifest them into reality. Remember the new moon is a time for new beginnings and fresh starts, so use this energy to expand your horizons and explore new possibilities. Trust the universe to guide you on your journey. You can also find a way to explore the world in any way you see fit. Read all those books that you need, you know you should read. Or go and find books that you want to try and read. Do a personal development course manifest a new spiritual teacher think about what you have faith in and what you don't make us a friend from the other side of the world and if you are a writer have something published that you've written now i have three affirmations that you can say on the nights of the new moon in virgo and for the following four weeks after that and that is i know that i am blessed Life is an adventure, and the world is my oyster. Now, if you are into essential oils, then I recommend sandalwood. It is a wonderful essential oil to use at this time. It's considered extremely sacred in Eastern religion, and this is an especially sacred part of your chart. It is also great for spiritual awareness and for getting in alignment with your soul purpose. These are some of the very big issues covered by the ninth house. Sandalwood is also an excellent meditation aid in any day of the week. Now the mantra that I recommend for you to try out this new moon in Virgo is the mantra Ah. You can chant it out loud, you can say it silently every day while you're in the shower, before or after you meditate, or whenever you see fit. And this is going to help you boost the chakra that you need to work on this month. The chakra to focus on this month is the crown chakra, which is a violet color and it is located at the top of your head. The crown chakra connects us to the divine. It's the seed of our cosmic consciousness. In other words, the part of us that knows that we're part of God, that we're a spiritual being having a human experience. That we're all one and connected to divine grace and divine love. And to stimulate this chakra, imagine a spinning violet disc at the top of your head. Connecting with your crown chakra during the new moon in Virgo. When you are a Capricorn rising, focusing on your ninth house can be a powerful way to tap into your spiritual growth and knowledge. And here are a few tips that you can help you connect with your crown chakra during this time. First, set your intentions. The new moon is a powerful time for setting intentions and focusing on your ninth house can help you set intentions related to spiritual growth and exploration. Take some, t- some time to sit quietly and reflect on what you hope to achieve by connecting with your crown chakra. Set a clear intention for your meditation or spiritual practice. Next, meditate. Meditation is a powerful tool for opening and balancing the crown chakra. Find a quiet and comfortable place to sit, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. And as you breathe deeply, visualize a white or violet light at the top of your head, slowly spreading down through your body. Imagine this light filling you with a sense of peace, clarity, and spiritual connection. Next. Practice yoga. Yoga poses that focus on the crown chakra such as headstand or lotus pose can help to open and balance this energy center. Incorporating these poses into your yoga practice during the new moon in Virgo can be a powerful way to connect with the spiritual self. Remember connecting with the crown chakra is an ongoing process. Be patient with yourself. And trust that with time and dedication, you will begin to experience the benefits of this powerful energy center. Now, the last thing that I have for you is the law of relativity. 
reminds us that all things are related, that everything just is. You will always be not as good at something as other people are, just as you will have your own special talents. Don't measure yourself against other people. And during this cycle, notice how you feel if you simply compare yourself with yourself. Understand this law by understanding the notion that nothing is good or bad, hot or cold, black or white, until you relate it to something else. So that's just a little food for thought there. And that's all that I have for you, Capricorn Rising, on this new moon in Virgo. If you found this information useful, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you on the following moon videos. Till next time. Hello there, Sagittarius Rising. This new moon in Virgo, you are to focus on your 10th house, which is known as your career zone. As a Sagittarius Rising, the 10th house represents your career, reputation, and your public image. With the new moon in Virgo, you may feel a strong urge to focus on the details of your professional life and how you are perceived by others. This is an excellent time to take a critical look at your career path and make any necessary adjustments. Virgo's analytical energy can help you identify areas of weakness and develop a plan for improvement. It is also a great time to focus on your personal brand and how you present yourself to the world. As a Sagittarius, you are known for your adventurous and free-spirited nature. However, in order to succeed in your career, you may need to incorporate some of Virgo practical and detail-oriented qualities. Use this new moon to set intentions for your career and take action towards achieving your goals. Trust in the process and have faith that the universe will support you along the way. Now, this new moon in Virgo is going to be all about your career and your reputation, right? So, expect the chance to get ahead professionally. And this new moon, I want you to wish for to help others through your work. And I want you to visualize and imagine yourself giving a talk and being an expert at whatever it is that you do or want to do professionally. There's everything right with wanting to leave your mark on the world or to be known for having done something. Whether you're ambitious to be a great parent or a great friend or you want to do something more visible, it's okay to aim high. The new moon is an important one for career-minded folk because it's all about your professional life. It is a great time to start a new business and the time when your past efforts at the office could be rewarded. If you have an increased chance of promotions right now, if you've been putting in the hard work, even if you don't get an actual promotion, you're far more likely to be recognized for your efforts during the coming month. This is also a good time to think about your future and what you want for yourself. Are you headed in the right direction to achieving your aims, your ambitions, and your goals? And if you're not, what can you do about it? Now, if you meditate, which I truly hope you do, or try it out if you haven't, I have for you a little sentence that you can say before or after your regular meditation, and that is, Hard work breeds long-term success for me. And a ritual that you can say do on this new moon is to write out your ideal job description and read it out loud every single day of, of this month so you can manifest your dream job. If you are a Sagittarius rising and want to focus on your 10th house during the new moon in Virgo, there are a few rituals that you can do to help you achieve your goals and aspirations on top of that one. First, take some time to reflect on what you want to achieve in your career or public life. Write down your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, and be specific and focus on what you truly want to achieve. Next, light a candle and begin to meditate. Take deep breaths and focus your intentions. Visualize your goals and aspirations come into fruition and feel the energy of the new moon and let it guide you. 
after your meditation, take your list of goals and aspirations and place them under the candle. Say a prayer or affirmation of your choice and ask the universe to help you achieve your goals. Finally, take action towards your goals. Use the energy of the new moon to start taking the steps necessary to achieve your dreams. Trust that the universe will guide you and support you in your goals and in your journey. Remember to be patient and kind to yourself. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your dreams. Trust in the process and believe in yourself. Now, I have a couple of things that I suggest you try out this new moon in Virgo. And as the Sagittarius rising, you may feel the pull towards adventure and exploration. But during the new moon in Virgo, it's important to focus your energy on your 10th house, which is associated with career and public image. So here are a few things you can do during this lunar phase to make the most of this astrological alignment. You can set career goals. Use the energy of the new moon to reflect on your career aspirations. What do you want to achieve in your professional life? Write down your goals and create a plan to make them a reality. Update your resume. With the emphasis of your career in public image, it is a good time to update your resume and LinkedIn profile. Make sure they reflect your career skills and experience and are presented in a professional manner. Network. Reach out to colleagues, mentors, other professionals in your field. Attend network events or schedule informational interviews. Building relationships and expanding your professional network can help open doors to new opportunities and take care of your physical health. Virgo is associated with health and wellness, so focus on taking care of your body during this lunar phase. Incorporate exercise, healthy eating habits, and stress-reducing practices like yoga or meditation into your routine. However, the new moon in Virgo is a time for setting intentions and taking practical steps towards achieving your goals. By focusing your energy on your 10th house, you can make progress towards your career aspirations and improve your public image. You can speak to your boss about how you're doing and how you can do better. Help a colleague out if they need help. Check that you're not being becoming status mad. Apply for the new jobs and do it with confidence. When you've earned it, take the credit. And of course, plot your next best career move. Now I have for you three affirmations that you should say on the night of the new moon in Virgo. And that is, I am going places. It's wonderful to be so successful. And I love seeing my plans work out. If you are into essential oils, then I recommend Laurel. It is a wonderful essential oil to use during this time in your bath or your burner and it will help you to focus more as you work hard because it aids concentration and it also motivates and boosts confidence so it's a win-win. The mantra that I suggest you try out this new moon is the mantra RAM. You can chant it out loud or you can say it silently every day while you are in the shower, before or after you meditate, or honestly any time that feels right to you. And this is going to help you boost the chakra that you need to work on this month. And that is the solar plexus, which is the one that you need to focus. This is another part of your chart where you can shine from. It's the top of your chart and it's where you make your mark on the world. The part of your chart is all about your career and ambitions. It's what the world will know you for and about your social status and your public image. Connecting with the solar plexus chakra during this new moon in Virgo can be a powerful experience for Sagittarians risings like you, especially when focused on the 10th house. The solar plexus chakra is associated with personal power, self-confidence and manifestation. 
The new moon in Virgo is a time for new beginnings and setting intentions, making it an ideal time to connect with this chakra. To begin, find a quiet and comfortable space where you can relax and focus. Take a few deep breaths and visualize a warm golden light at your solar plexus, located just above your belly button. Envision this light growing brighter and expanding with each breath, filling you with a sense of inner strength and confidence. As a Sagittarius rising, you may find it helpful to focus on your 10th house, which represents your career and public image. Visualize yourself achieving your goals and manifesting success in your professional life. Use this time to set intentions for the coming lunar cycle and focus on what you want to achieve. You can also incorporate other practices such to support your solar plexus such as yoga poses like the warrior three or boat pose or incorporating yellow foods like bananas or pineapples into your diet. Remember to be kind and patient with yourself during this process and trust that your intentions will come to fruition on their very own time. Now the last thing that I have for you is something to contemplate on. It is the law of polarity. There are two poles, two opposites of everything here on earth or in the earthly realm. Polarity represents two extremes of one thing or two opposites ends of a spectrum. So, for example, we have temperature ranges from hot to cold, measurements go from up to down, high to low, and things are on or off or in or out. And if you are not happy where you are, then move along the scale to where you want to be. Focus on what you do want and don't focus on what you don't want. Now that is all that I have for you, Sagittarius Rising. I hope that I gave you some good insight onto how you can work with your 10th house and during this new moon in Virgo. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the following moon videos. Till next time. Hello there, Scorpio Rising. This new moon in Virgo, you are to focus on your 11th house, also known as your friend zone. As a Scorpio Rising, the 11th house holds a significant place in your birth chart. The 11th house governs our friendships, social networks, and the communities we belong to. With the new moon in Virgo, you may feel a heightened sense of focus on your goals and ambitions. This is a perfect time to reassess your social circle and determine whether your current friendships align with your aspirations. And during this new moon, it is essential to take some time to reflect on what you want to achieve in your life. Scorpio Risings are known for their intensity and determination, and with the energy of Virgo, you have the potential to make significant progress towards your goals. The 11th house is also associated with humanitarian efforts and giving back to the community. Consider getting involved in a cause that resonates with you or collaborating with like-minded individuals to make a positive impact. Remember that with the new moon in Virgo, attention to detail and organization will be key to manifesting your desires. Overall, this new moon in Virgo brings a powerful energy that can be harnessed to make progress in your personal and social life. Take the time to reflect on your goals, assess your friendships, and consider ways to give back to your community. With focus and determination, you have the potential to achieve great things. So, this new moon in Virgo, you it's going to be all about your friends, your social networks, your hopes, and even your dreams. So you can expect the chance for a wish to come true or for a friendship to blossom. Now, this new moon, I want you to wish for anything that you've ever wanted. Just go ahead and wish away. And visualize yourself with your wish coming true. 
surrounded by your friends visualize how they're reacting visualize how you are reacting visualize how you feel now there's no need to go through life alone if you are spiritually evolved to be listening to this then you are able to go out into the world and make friends the 11th house brings to mind the expression no man or woman is an island there are two main focuses for you this month the first is of your hopes and dreams and it is said that when the sun moves through your 11th house and is doing so right now your powers of wishing are supercharged in other words be extra careful for what you wish for now because you might just get it the other focus will be your friends and the networks and the groups that you belong to how confident do you feel about the places that you have within your groups are your needs being met and if they are not what can you do about it new friends are extra likely to come into your life right now so just be on the lookout for that and be ready to receive now if you meditate which i truly recommend you do if you haven't tried it already is i have a little sentence that you can say before or even after your regular meditation and that is the friendly people find the friendly people every time and a ritual that i for this new moon is to throw a party at your place yes throwing a party is a type of ritual as long as you're doing it consciously of course since you are a scorpio rising looking to harness the energy of the new moon in virgo to focus on your 11th house there are a few rituals that you can perform to help you achieve your goals first take some time to reflect on what you would like to manifest in your 11th house the 11th house is associated with friendships social networks and community so think about what you would like to cultivate in these areas of your life write down your intention and goals for the coming lunar cycle next find a quiet and comfortable space where you can perform your ritual light a candle some incense take a few deep breaths to center yourself you may want to consider using crystals or other objects that are associated with the energy of virgo and the 11th house such as amethyst malachite or green aventurin as you sit in meditation focus your intention and visualize them coming into fruition see yourself surrounded by a supportive and loving community and feel the joy and fulfillment that comes with the having a strong connection with others when you feel ready say a prayer or affirmation that aligns with your intentions thank the universe for the abundance that is coming your way and trust that your desires are coming in your desires will manifest in perfect way and at perfect time after your ritual take some time to journal or reflect on any insights or messages that may have gone through remember to stay open and receptive to the universe and trust that everyone and everything is unfolding exactly as it should be now as a scorpio rising focusing on your 11th house there are several things that you can do to make the most of this astrological event things that you can do First, the 11th house is associated with friendship, right? Social networks and community involvement. This is an ex- excellent time to connect with people who share similar interests and goals. You may want to join a group or organization that aligns with your values or attend a network event to expand your circle or contacts. Secondly, Virgo is a sign that it is associated with health and wellness. So, Use this new moon energy to focus on your physical and mental well-being. You may want to start a new exercise routine or try a new health recipe. Take time to rest and relax and prioritize self-care. Finally, Scorpio is a sign that is associated with transformation and regeneration. This is a good time to reflect on what changes you would like to make in your life. You may want to set some goals and intentions for the future. 
Use this new moon energy to release any negative thought pattern or limiting beliefs that are holding you back. In summary, during the new moon in Virgo, if you are a Scorpio racing with focusing on your 11th house, you can make the most of this astrological event by connecting with like-minded people, focusing on your health and your wellness and setting intentions for personal transformation. So, try signing up for an evening class in something that you've always wanted to do. Ask your friends to introduce you to friends of theirs that you've never met so you can broaden your friendships. Wish on a star every night for a month and remember to be cautious of what you are saying. Introduce a childhood pal to a friend from your now life. Say hi to someone that you see nearly every day but never speak to. And thank your best friend if you have one, for being there for you, for the good, for the bad, for the ugly. Now, I have for you three affirmations that you can say on the night of the new moon in Virgo and for the following four weeks after that, and that is, I am connected to all life everywhere. I love my friends and my friends love me. My dreams are now manifesting under grace and perfect ways. Now, if you are into essential oils, then I recommend the chemical compound found in frankincense essential oil. I recommend essential oil. The chemical compound found in frankincense essential oil can cause the blood-brain barrier and oxygenate the pineal gland. This little gland in our brain was called the seats of our soul. So... It helps us to tap into our third eye. The mantra that I suggest you try out is the mantra OM. You can chant it out loud or say it silently every day while you are in the shower before or after you meditate or whenever it feels right to you. And this is going to help you boost the chakra that you need to work on this month. When we start to make wishes, as it is indicated by the 11th house, it's so important to bear in mind what our intuition is telling us. If we secretly already know we can't have what we're dreaming of, we will not manifest it. This month's chakra, the third eye, is effectively an energetic gateway and portal to our intuitive and even psychic self. Give it a workout this month by seeing it spinning between your brows. It's a wonderful and uplifting indigo color. Connecting with the third eye chakra during the new moon in Virgo can be an incredible powerful experience, especially if you are Scorpio rising, focusing on your 11th house. The third eye chakra located between your eyebrows is associated with intuition, wisdom, and higher consciousness. When we activate this chakra, We can tap into our inner guidance and gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. To connect with the third eye chakra during the new moon in Virgo, you may want to consider sitting aside some time for meditation or introspection. Begin by finding a quiet or comfortable space where you can relax and focus your attention inward. You may want to light a candle or incense to help create a calming atmosphere. As you sit in stillness, bring your attention to your third eye chakra. Imagine a bright indigo light radiating from this area. And visualize this light expanding and filling your entire body with its healing energy. You may also want to repeat affirmations or mantras that resonate with you such as I trust my intuition or I am connected to my inner wisdom. If you are a Scorpio rising focusing on your 11th house, you may find that this practice helps you tap into your innate psyche abilities and gain insight into your social groups and networks. Trust your intuition and allow yourself to receive any messages or guides that come through. Remember, The new moon is a time for new beginnings and fresh starts, so be open to whatever possibilities may 
a race. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the last thing that I have for you is a universal law. And it's the law of rhythm, which reminds us that the earthly rain, earthly plane moves in a certain rhythm. These rhythms establish the rhythm of life here on earth. The seasons, the tides, the moon phases, the female menstrual cycle, stages of human development. And according to the book, The Kabbalion, this accounts for the bewildering succession of moods, feelings, and other annoying and perplexing changes that we notice in ourselves. The Hermetic Masters inspired by Hermes, Transmedias advise that by studying and understanding this principle, our bewildering emotions and mood can be mastered. So I truly recommend the Kabbalion. Give that book a read. It's really interesting and wonderful read. And that is all that I have for you, Scorpio Rising. I hope that you found some of this information useful and that it helps you on your journey. And if it does, please come back whenever you want and let me know. I would like to hear about your journey, your transformation, and if you are going to read the Kabbalion book, let me know what you think once you're done with it. I will see you on the next moon videos. Till next time. Hello there Libra Rising. This new moon in Virgo, you are to focus on your 12th house, also known as your secret zone. As a Libra rising, your 12th house is ruled by Scorpio, which means that you may have an intense and mysterious energy in the area of your life related to the 12th house. The 12th house is associated with hidden strengths and weaknesses, spirituality, and the subconscious mind. When the new moon is in Virgo, it's an excellent time to work on releasing old patterns and habits that are no longer serving us. With the new moon in Virgo in your 12th house, you may find yourself drawn to introspection and self-reflection. This is an ideal time to focus on meditation, journaling, or any other form of self-exploration that resonates with you. You may also feel more connected with your intuition during this time, which can help you gain insight into your deepest desires and motivations. It's important to remember that the 12th house can also be associated with self-sabotage and addictive behaviors. Therefore, it's essential to be mindful of any negative patterns that may be holding you back from your full potential. Use this new moon in Virgo energy to release any limiting beliefs or behaviors that are no longer serving you and embrace the transformative power of this astrological event so when the new moon in virgo comes it's going to be all about your secret self and your most private self you can expect a period of a few weeks when you'll want to retreat from the world and just be alone for this new moon, I want you to wish for inner peace. Visualize yourself in a cosmic pink bubble at one with the universe. It's okay to take time out to meditate and contemplate. It has been a year since the giver of life, the sun, was in your sign. By now, you may feel as though you're running low on power. Use this month to process what has gone on in the past 12 months and what you want for the next year ahead. When the sun crosses your ascending, which is your rising sign, and moves back into your first house, which will happen next month, you will feel much better. You know when you read astrology and it says something spooky like, trust your dreams. That's what I'm saying here. When the new moon is in your 12th house, it's energizing the part of your chart that relates to dreams and to all things secret and spooky. The part of your chart being triggered affects the side of yourself that you don't tell anyone about. Your secret self, your shadow side, your unconscious self. 
Trusting your dreams is a great idea now because the moon in this part of your chart can bring so much to the surface that's worth investigating. Because the part of your chart being triggered is also about all things spooky. It's also a great time to get in touch with your spiritual side by doing things like yoga and meditation. And sure, yoga exercises the body, but both yoga and meditation also calm the mind and help you get closer to your core self. If you don't understand what that means, sign up for a meditation or a yoga course so you can soon know what this means. This is the end of another cycle, so let go of what isn't working from your life so you can make room for things that you want. Now, if you meditate, which I truly recommend, I have a little sentence that you can say before or even after your regular meditation routine, and that is, my dreams are my guide. And this new moon ritual that I suggest you try out is to write a list of your fears and then burn it. The new moon in Virgo is a great time to focus on self-improvement and inner growth and as a Libra rising this new moon cycle may be especially important for you as it falls in your 12th house of unconscious patterns and spiritual growth so here are a couple of rituals that are pretty simple that you can perform during this time to tap into the power of the new moon in Virgo you first cleanse your space before beginning any ritual it's important to cleanse your space and this can be done by burning sage, lighting incense, or simply opening a window to let fresh air in. Set intentions, take a deep breath, and set your intention for the new moon cycle. Focus on what you want to release and let go of anything that you want to let go at this time. As well as what you want to manifest and bring into your life and meditate. Spend time in a quiet meditation, focusing on your breath and allowing any thoughts or emotions to come and go without judgment. Journal. After meditating, take some time to journal about your intentions and any insights or realizations that come up during your meditation. Write down any limiting beliefs or negative thought patterns that you want to release as well as any positive affirmations, your goals that you want to focus on. Release. To symbolize your release, you can burn the paper you journaled on or simply tear it up and throw it away, as I had mentioned. And as you do so, visualize yourself letting go of any negative energy or limiting beliefs that are holding you back. And lastly, manifest. To symbolize your manifestation, you can light a candle or hold a crystal and visualize yourself attracting positive energy and abundance into your life. Focus on the feeling of gratitude and abundance as you do so. Remember, the important part of any ritual is your intention. As long as you are focused on your energy, on what you want to manifest and let it go of what you no longer no longer serves you you can adapt this ritual in any way that feels most authentic to you you don't have to follow it step by step how i say it you can personalize it on how you see fit as a libra rising the new moon in virgo it's a great time to focus on your 12th house the 12th house is associated with spirituality intuition and hidden talents and here are a couple of things that I suggest you try to do during the new moon to harness the energy of your 12th house. And that is to meditate. I know I've said this several times, but spend some time in a quiet contemplation to connect with your inner self and intuition. This is a great time to start or deepen a meditation practice. Keep a dream journal. The 12th house is also associated with dreams and the subconscious mind. So keep a journal by your bed and record your dreams every morning. Look for patterns or themes that may offer insight into your subconscious. Explore your creative side. 
the 12th house is also linked to creative expression. So, take some time to explore your creative side, whether that means painting, writing, or dancing. Trust your intuition and let your creativity flow. Practice yoga. I know I've said this one a lot too. Or any other spiritual practice. The 12th house is also associated with spirituality and higher consciousness. Consider trying out a yoga or other spiritual practice to deepen your connection to the divine. Overall, the new moon in Virgo is a powerful time for self-reflection, intuition, and spiritual growth. Use this time to connect with your inner self and explore your hidden talents. You can bend like a yogi and try different yoga poses. Take time out from the mad social world. Delete your social media accounts for a whole month. And face a big fear. Deal with it by thinking about where it came from. I want you to trust your intuition for this whole month. And if you haven't already started meditating and you haven't yet learned how to, try that out this month. Learn how to do that. Watch a video. Write poetry from the heart. Share one of your big secrets. Now, I have for you three affirmations that you can say on the night of the new moon in Virgo and for the following four weeks after that, and that is, it's okay to say no. Inner peace is my focus, and I now release my fears. Now, an essential oil that I recommend for you at this time is lavender. This part of your chart is associated with fear and other negativity things. So, lavender is a powerful essential oil to work with to counter any fear, depression, anxiety, or nervousness. It's great to work through such issues when the moon is triggering your 12th house. Now, the mantra that I suggest for you to chant out loud or say it silently is the mantra, Ah. You can do it while you are in the shower, before or after you meditate, or honestly at any time that feels right to you. And this is going to help you boost the chakra that you need to work on this month. And this month, the chakra, violet colored crown chakra, which sits atop of your head, is your connection between heaven and earth. Just as the 12th house is about the spiritual and the mysteries, so is your crown chakra this will connect you with the cosmic and the mystic it's the seat of our cosmic consciousness and connects us with the divine intelligence and grace it's a channel or portal and through it divine information pours it's a center for trust inspiration and happiness so see it spinning on your head like a violet colored crown when you meditate Connecting with the crown chakra during the new moon in Virgo can be a powerful experience, especially if you are a Libra rising. Focusing on your 12th house. The 12th house, again, is associated with spiritual growth, intuition, and the higher self, making it an ideal time to work on connecting with your crown chakra. To begin, find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit or lie down and relax. Take a few deep breaths, closing your eyes and focusing on your breath. Visualize a beam of white light coming down from the universe and entering your body through the crown of your head. And as you breathe in, imagine the light filling your entire body from head all the way down to your toes. And as you breathe out, release any tensions or negativity that you may be holding on to. Focus on the top of your head, imagining a violet light surrounding your crown chakra. Visualize the light growing brighter with each breath until it feels like a warm and vibrant energy. And as you sit with this energy, allow your intuition to guide you. You may wish to set an intention for this practice or simply allow yourself to be open to receiving any messages or insights that come your way. 
Remember, connecting with the crown chakra is all about opening yourself up to the divine and the universe. Trust in the process and allow yourself to surrender to the energy of the new moon in Virgo. Now, the last thing that I have for you so you can contemplate on is a universal law. According to the law of gender, everything, person, and situation has a male and female energy. This is how creation happens in the animal kingdom. kingdom, The law of gender manifests as sex, but it goes way beyond that, all the way to the idea of yin and yang. The universe was formed under the law of gender. To truly know yourself and to master the universe, you must live out both your masculine and feminine energies, no matter which sex you are. So it's just a little food for thought there. Now that's all that I have for you, Libra Rising, on this new moon in Virgo. If you found this information useful, please let me know on how it helped. And I will see you on the following moon videos. Till next time.